I'm glad that this topic has to be covered. So glad. So, bear with me. I'm going somewhere with this. All right? So, what I want to do first is um, read you all a comment that a brother left, or comments that a brother left on both of my videos. Now, his name is not important. I'm not trying to air him out or anything like that. I mean, to be real with you, you all probably have read his comment comments as well. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I'm blocking him or nothing like that. But this is just a a learning tool. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just had to share this with you all so you all, you all can understand where I'm coming from. All right? Let's go. So, the brother puts on one of uh, my videos. He says um, in the comment section, been watching you for a while. I am from Long Island, Queens, and Queens. I can relate 100%. We need to chop it up one day, real talk. Now, I replied back, word. He replied back. Now, I'm paraphrasing this, this uh, comment that he made because I deleted the comment that he made. And I'm, I'm going to tell you why I deleted it later on. So, he said something like um, he, he owns his own business. And, you know, maybe, you know, we could be able to work together and make money together. And he left his phone number, right? So I didn't reply back. So I made another video. And then he commented on the next video. And he said this. You said something in your vid. You don't know me. I understand, bro. I asked you to give me a call about money. I have my own shit going on and wanted to see if we could put something together. All you said was word. You did not even want to hear me out. I got five kids, own, own my business, and house, married 20 years. I thought that was what you stood for. I'm just saying, brother, how are we going to build if brothers really don't want to? Peace, brother. Okay, so what I did is I replied back, and this is what I said. Uh, peace, fam. I will be straight up with you. I didn't reply back because it felt abnormal that someone would put out their phone number on YouTube, which is the truth. Now, I don't know about you all, but it's, it's just abnormal to me. You know, normally when people, when I, when I talk to people, you know, we DM each other. We, you know, go, go back, back and forth via email. And then eventually throughout, you know, time as we develop a relationship, well, I'll say it a different way, friendship. Then we exchange numbers, but not just like that. Not somebody just throwing their phone number out. Okay. Um, out num uh, uh, yeah, uh, abnormal to put the uh, phone number on YouTube. I've been through that before, which is the truth. Um, call that person and they turn out to be crazy. I'm not saying that I'm a celebrity, but I've had my experiences with p crazy people. And it's the truth. I've had people DM me saying stupid, crazy shit. I have people, I've had people email me telling me some dumb, crazy shit that's just ridiculous. So I always have my guards up. You understand? All right, so let me continue. So now I'm very careful on what I do online. Let's build a relationship via email. I don't know you and you don't know me, which is the truth. You at least can see see me i don't even know what you look like which is the truth he doesn't have an avatar when i go to his youtube channel he has no videos it, I, I i don't know who you are you don't have a pic how do i know if you're a real person understand where i'm coming from would i like to hear what you're doing and build with you sure but think about it fam you're from new york so i know you put up your spider sense spider senses when you're in the streets you can't let your guard down for nothing you have a family to go home to well that's how i am shit just felt suspect which it did so here's my email email me will uh, email me we'll build and take it from there peace fam okay now this is what he replied back oh no excuse me and then i, I wrote something else and this is 
this is the explanation of me erasing or deleting his message from the last uh, uh, video, the, his comment from the last video that, that he put put up there. So um, for your safety, this is this is me. For your safety, I'm going to delete your number off my comments. Word to the wise: Never put your personal information out there for everyone to see. We're on the internet, and there are millions of crazy people on here. Be more discreet and DM, email a person, which is the truth. I don't understand what I said what was wrong. Seriously, straight up. I mean, there are crazy people out here. There are people out here that will take advantage of you for, for whatever. And all they need is a couple of num numbers. It may be your fucking phone number, cell number, social security number, whatever. So I just looked at it like, yo, I'm, I'm being sincere and I'm, I'm, I'm caring and looking out for him by deleting his comment that had his phone number up there. He responds back. Well, I kind of feel you, brother, but I have nothing to hide and my forces are strong and I don't worry about stuff like that. I am from New York, but I don't hold on to all things from New York. Everything in New York is not good. I live in VA and I would meet people that call me New York and I would take offense to that. And I don't understand why he put that in there, but he says, call me by my name. And I, I, I never said, I, I said, I understand, you're from New York. I didn't call you New York. But he said, but I will shoot you an email. And then he, res he responds back and see, you can use the number. I ain't that dude. And then he responds back again. Why are you so worried about my safety? And I'm like, are you serious? You're not addressing the point to this situation. I don't even understand where he's coming from with that. Thanks for your concern, but I guess you rather dry bag on the net. I'm done. Get money. So let me get this right. In the very beginning, you were trying to help me out. You saying you said you had your own business, you want to make money with me. And then after I said, you know, I was reserved and was like, yo, let's get to know one another instead of jumping the gun. I don't even know if you're, re you're a real person. Let's talk via email. Then it became a problem. Now, people out there, tell me if I was wrong. Tell me if I was wrong. So you may say, well, what do you get, what, what do you get out of this, Langston? What are you trying to say? Make your point. My point in making is this. Whatever I fucking say online, whether it's on my Instagram or whether on YouTube, if I'm wrong, I'm fucking wrong. Hit me in the head. Take no prisoners. If you see something that I do or say that's wrong, call me out on it because I don't have no problem with it, period, because I, I'm not perfect. I'm a man just like everybody else. But in this particular situation, I don't know what he's, what he's talking about. I don't. I really and truly don't. You see, I get a lot of comments, a lot of comments throughout all my videos. I get DMs all day, every day. And I offer, I offer you all my email for you to get in contact with me. All you have to do is just go to my YouTube channel. And where it says about, click on that and go down to the bottom, scroll down to the bottom. You'll see L-A-N-G 2092 at yahoo.com. Why is it? That there are quite a few people that don't have a problem with emailing me. Why is it that there are quite a few people that I've developed a friendship with that I had not known until they emailed me and we started conversing back, back and forth, back and forth. And then one day they were like, yo, man, give me a call. And I said, you know what, man, this guy is, this guy is all right. You know what I'm saying? We've been conversing back and forth. I'm going to go out on a limb and call a dude. Call a dude. Dude turn out to be straight. And this ain't, this is not just one person. You know, I'm about to go see my man in Florida, in Miami. A dude that I met online. Period. So it's not like I'm being this bad and bougie motherfucker. It's not like I'm this know-it-all motherfucker. 
It's not like I'm trying to put up a front like, oh, yeah, you know, you can get in contact with me all the time and da-da-da-da-da. And I'm all about the brothers and the sisters. And we work together. And then after that, when you try to reach out to me, it's something different. No, 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 no. That's not, that's not it. My point in making is that at the end of the day, there are some fucking loonies out there. Period. It's just that plain and simple. Let me, let me explain something to you because I don't think y'all really understand this shit. YouTube. YouTube. My channel on YouTube, I can end this shit tonight. I can close this shit tonight. This shit does not make me. This shit hasn't gone to my head. No matter if I have 3,000 subscribers, 10,000, 200,000, it has not gone to my head. It would never go to my head. Period. Because as of now, I have virtual subscribers. I have a virtual fan base. Until I physically see my subscribers. Until I physically see my fan base. That shit is erroneous. It's, it's wrong. It's, 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 it's lies. I don't know if y'all are real or not. Period. You see... On my channel, I told you all, I'm not a fucking teacher. I'm not your preacher. I'm not your leader. I'm just that dude that sees some shit. And I'm like, oh shit, while these guys over here, while y'all are working, while y'all attending to your children, while you're doing this and doing that and don't have time to think about certain things, that's why I come in. Period. I'm not saying that you all are stupid. I'm not saying that y'all can't comprehend shit. I just know that a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my people are on the go, on the go, on the go. And it's most beneficial to them when I put out something. Because they can sit back and say, oh man, I ain't think about that shit. And they can create dialogue with other people. They're actually learning from me. And they, they're teaching other people. It's just that plain and simple. I mean, nothing fucking damn spectacular about me. I just take the time out to think about the shit that's going on. I evaluate, uh, evaluate, damn, evaluate. Yeah, Langston. <laughs> I evaluate the value. Damn, I fucked up again. Evaluate things. Period. It's just that plain and simple. It's nothing complicated. I, I work for the people. The people don't work for me. I work for the people. The people don't work for me. If it weren't for you all, I wouldn't have a channel. That plain and simple. So, I'm not like those other channels, if you, you, you understand where I'm coming from. These motherfuckers out here talking about their leaders, their teachers, and all the rest of this shit. If I'm going to tell you I'm a teacher, if I'm going to tell you that I'm this and I'm that, I'm going to be qualified. Now, I'm not trying to say that you need to go to fucking school and get a goddamn degree from the white man's college. That's not what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, most of these people are not qualified. In other words, what I'm saying is they, they're not knowledgeable, knowledgeable about the shit that they're saying. This is the reason why I didn't chose that path, that 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 uh, uh that that lane that young Farrell, uh, uh Dr. Umar, um Poe Light and the likes are going down. For one, I was too lazy. I'm like, man, fuck that. I'm not reading all of them. I'm not reading all those fucking books. Because some of that information, to be honest with you, some of the information you can't prove. Especially when you start dealing with Egyptology. If you didn't live back then, and you're studying books that other people wrote. Some of those books can't be factually proven. It's just that plain and simple. And in order to know the truth, like 100%, you would have to actually have lived when Egypt, Kemet, or whatever, whatever name you want to call it, thrived. Period. It's just like, I'll give you an example. So the youngins, when I talked to them, it's like, I can tell them, did I, did I, did I like physically see Tupac? You know what I'm saying? Have I physically seen Tupac? No. 
but I was living at the time when Tupac was alive. So every interview he did, the videos that came out, the whole vibe and energy that he put out while he was alive, I was there to witness it. So I was able to say, yo, man, he did that inter interview at such and such and such time. And the reason, reason why he said this, the reason why he had attitude is because of this, that and so forth. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, imagine a youngin trying to tell you about Tupac and they weren't even alive back then. So that's the reason, partly the reason why I stay out of that lane. Some of the information you can't prove, that's one. Two, I'm lazy, we already said that. I'm not reading a thousand and one fucking books. Three, a lot of the information is irrelevant. This is the reason why I got in my own lane, which was inspiring and motivating people. Because I know how to do that. I can talk about my personal experiences. I can talk about what I've been through. I can tell you what not to do and what to do based on my, the mistakes that I made in my life. It's just that plain and simple. And the major key, and it's no disrespect to those brothers, no disrespect, but I have as of yet to hear any one of those, 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 those brothers, including Sonetta, and the list goes on, say on video, yo, I'm wrong. It's like, Niggas have a hard time saying I'm wrong. I don't. I've said it a lot of times. Yo, you got me on that. Yo, you're right. If you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. It's just that plain and simple. No one's above right and wrong. No one. No one. And that's why I like where I'm at. Because I can... I can I can take correction. I can take it. I can admit it. I can admit on video. I can admit it in person. Yo, man, I'm wrong. You got it. School me. You, you know what's so funny? I think you all have the problem. You all think that I believe or think that I'm this shit. No, 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 no. You're sadly mistaken. Let me explain something to you. Most of you niggas are probably doing better than me. Most of you niggas could probably talk, t teach me something. So just as well as I'm <laughs> dishing out the truth, I can also receive it. Period. I'm learning every fucking day. Learning every fucking day. I don't run my, I don't run my mouth like this. I don't. Only on camera. Other than that, I'm silent as a motherfucker because I've learned throughout my life the one that's silent learns the most. The ones that's talking, talk, 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 all the time. Talk, 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 talk. ain't learning shit. Just re regurgitating information. Most of y'all, most of these niggas that y'all claim is smart and intelligent. Oh my, he's highly intelligent. If you sit your black ass down one day and study and read like they do, you'll be just as intelligent as them, as they are. It's just that plain and simple. Ain't nothing motherfucking amazing about, about me or anybody or anyone. We're here to help one another. And part of helping one another is admitting when you're wrong. And let me tell you something. I'd rather be wrong than right because I can learn from my mistakes. I can learn from my mistakes. Period. Y'all gotta stop looking for this leader. Y'all gotta stop looking for the motherfucker. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't there. He ain't there. I'm here to tell you. And I ain't gonna name drop because I ain't trying to you know, promote anyone. I ain't gonna name drop no organizations, no, no, no teachers or none of that shit. Even though I've said some, you know, some previous in a video, but I ain't gonna name drop right about now. At the end of the day, none of these organizations, leaders, and so-called leaders, teachers, none of them, none of them can lead you, but you. It's just that plain and simple. Everybody. Every, every fucking body on this planet has fault.
You can find faults in everyone. Ain't nobody fucking perfect. Even though these motherfuckers are out here acting like they are. And it makes no sense to me. Straight up. I'm here to tell you. I ain't perfect. I don't even want to I don't even want to go I don't even want to be perfect straight up. I'm like Biggie. I don't want to go to heaven with the goody goodies. <laughs> straight up. I'm, who the fuck want to be perfect? Shit, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, man, when you motherfucking make a mistake or when you do something wrong, and I said sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes it feel better making a mistake and doing something wrong than doing it doing it right. Shit. I get mad at the old lady every now and then. And I ain't smoked weed in years. But god damn it, I could just picture myself at St. Kitts with Nature Man. I said Nature Man. And it's a real person. Nature Man. And um, you know, the last time he passed me that spliff, I was like, nah, 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 nah. You know, I don't smoke weed. This time, it's like, after eating a veggie plate, drinking real mango juice, like Nature Man, he has a whole fucking garden. Everything that he cooks is out of his garden. His house sits up on a fucking, like a mountain and shit. And you can see the fucking ocean and, and, and hills. And it's just a beautiful fucking sight. Beautiful. And it's like, yeah, nature man, go, go ahead, give me that. Knowing good and well, I'm supposed to be damn smoking. This shit, man, fuck it, it's that, y'all getting on my motherfucking nerves. Yeah, man, I don't want to motherfucking be this perfect person. You know, if if I'm right, I'm right. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That plain and simple. Call me out on the shit. Get in my ass. Pause. Get in my ass, man. Pause again. Straight up. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And 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 I stand to be corrected. Like, yo, man. I ain't gonna even argue with you, sis. I ain't gonna even argue with you, bro. You right. Brother, uh, I ain't gonna hold y'all up any longer. I'm just gonna say this one thing. Cause I ain't even want this shit to be like 22, 22 minutes and some shit. So when y'all see me looking down right here, I got my cell phone connected to my uh, my camera. So I'm looking at myself right here. So don't think that I'm fucking crazy, whatever. I'm looking down right here. Sometimes when I'm looking right here, is I'm looking at like notes, little notes that I I jotted down so I can remember what the fuck I supposed to say. Um, getting back to the point. So brother left on um on my Instagram uh, page. I had took a picture of the the stuff that I had bought my groceries and um there was silk almond milk in the grocery car cart. And he was like, "Yo man, don't fuck with that almond milk." He didn't tell me why, but I know why. Don't fuck with that almond milk. Fuck with coconut milk, hemp, milk, hemp, and rice milk. And he was like, I ain't trying to get in no debate with you or no shit like that. I ain't trying to argue this, that, and so forth. And I replied back like, yo, man, I ain't even the per you know, I ain't the one to argue. You know, you're 100% right. And thank you for telling me that. Period. When you're right, you're right. You're wrong, you're wrong. And... This is what this video is about. I just had to put that out there to let you all know that if I say some shit that's wrong, school me so I can learn. And I am no better than you, and you are no better than me. Period. And it doesn't make a difference how much money you have. It doesn't make a difference how much money I have. We're here to educate and at the same time, educate one another. We gotta treat one another with respect. Brother gonna talk about some on one of the fucking comments. I ain't gonna name him. I ain't putting. I ain't promoting his ass. One of the comments. Oh yeah, that's why I make 24k. You know, a week. Such such such. Nigga. Okay, if that's the case, get the fuck off my page and continue making your money. You telling me this shit? I, are you gonna give me a cut? Other than that, shut the fuck up. 
Like, yo, seriously, I'm just gonna give y'all a, a like a, a real good ass motherfucking. What is? How can I put it? Um, good advice. If you're here to bash me, right, and you wanna like throw shit up in my face like how many cars you have how much money you got and then you want to call me gay and you call me a faggot and all the rest of that shit you're wasting your time you really are i come from a generation where the this shit niggas used to pick on this nose all day every fucking day niggas picked on my forehead niggas picked on how short i short i was or i say was i am uh everything I ran away from home. Them niggas picked on that shit. So nothing hurts me. Because I come from a generation where we joked all the fucking time. And I mean, it used to be some of the most grimiest. Ass. Like, nigga, did you have to say that? And the motherfucker sat there with a straight face and said, Yup. Damn. So it's nothing that you could say that, that's going to hurt me. Straight up, it's it's not. And to be real with you, I'm kind of petty. So I'm gonna go to your channel and I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna see what you look at. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see your avatar. Most of these niggas don't even have an avatar. A pic, you know what I'm saying? If you got an Instagram page and all that shit, I'm gonna read your comments, I'm gonna go through all of your shit. I'm gonna troll your shit without, without you even knowing. I troll most of y'all niggas, to be real with you. But you never know. You want to know why? Because I don't leave comments. I don't leave a trace. That's the problem with you niggas. You want to troll me? Stop leaving tracks. Stop leaving your fingerprints and your footprints behind, dummy. <laughs> Y'all some fucking idiots, man. If I'm right, I'm right. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. All right? That's it. My name is Langston2092. <laughs> One.